Later that night, sitting next to Hayes on the team jet, I open our group chat. Nice teamwork. You guys deserve a reward. Is that on your planner? It is now. I know what I want from my prize. Do tell. You answering the door, naked. Such a simple man. Got a better idea? Yes, she'd look sexy in a number 18 jersey. Sexier in number 21. Here's a better idea. How about number 21 in the front and number 18 in the back? Cracking up, I raise my face from the phone and meet Hayes' eyes, which spark with mischief and dirty thoughts. She's perfect. I whisper in filthy approval. I know. When we see Ivy that night, she's not naked. She's not in a jersey either. She comes upstairs to Hayes' penthouse wearing a t-shirt and shorts and carrying her peach bandana wearing pup, who side-eyes me before she remembers she likes me. Seems Ivy had the better idea after all. She looks incredible at the door just like that, here for us. When she comes inside, the loneliness fades a little more. Normally I wouldn't think a naked skating story would be a come on, but I have a hunch he's not leading with the goods, but with his gusto. That's his style. Me, I'm subtler. A flirty word, a dirty look. It's our one-two punch. Except, nope, I'm not hitting on her tonight. I'm not pitching her on a threesome, especially with Dev here and with Kana and Brady in the next room. I'm just celebrating. Ivy sets down her glass, shooting Stefan a dubious look. Picks. Now I have to call your bluff. Well, I had socks on. I don't put on skates without socks. Stefan says, stretching his arms out across the back of the booth. And yes, I have picks. My buddies took them. He grabs for his phone in his back pocket. Dev laughs, shaking his head. No one wants to see that much of your naked ass. But it's too late. Stefan scrolls and then slaps down his phone and... That's some birthday suit on skates. A jerk bag covering my eyes. Dude. Stefan drops down into the aisle seat. Well, someone is staking his claim on me. Hayes gives a chin nod. As the new guy, I doubt he wants to get into a seat scuffle. But Stefan pats the middle seat for Hayes. The taller man scoffs. I'll find an aisle. I roll my eyes, unbuckle, and stand up. I'll take the middle. I'm a regular girl, after all, and I don't want Hayes to feel uncomfortable. Hayes's lips curve up. Yeah? I don't mind, I say. I don't want to be rude and leave. What reason would I give anyway? The two of you give off hungry wolf vibes, and I want to be your prey, so I need to run to the back of the plane to avoid your dirty, flirty gazes. The flight's only about an hour. I can handle the tension. Because it's just that. Tension. Hayes has already made it clear that we'd be a bad idea. Stefan seems more persistent, but does that matter? Off we go to the city of sin, I say, making small talk. Will you play the penny slots in your free time, Stefan? Bet it all on black, Hayes. Hayes dips his face, smiles softly. I definitely bet it all. I love to gamble. More than I should. What about you, Ivy? Stefan asks after he takes a drink of his coffee. What's your Vegas poison? Blackjack, a show, a roller coaster ride, late night clubbing? I tap my chin as if considering. You left out staying in and ordering room service. Hayes chuckles. Stefan scoffs. What? You don't believe me? I look from one to the other. Stefan tilts his face and locks eyes with me, holding my gaze. I'm calling your bluff. He says in a smoky voice that makes my insides melt a little. I fight back against these feelings, sitting up straighter, trying to keep my cool. Fine. What do you think I like to do? But Stefan doesn't answer. He looks around me at Hayes, tipping his forehead to his teammate. What do you think? With a soft hum, Hayes tilts his face toward me, studying my expression. He takes his time roaming those soulful brown eyes over me like he's undressing me, body and mind. It's sexual and also knowing. Like he's both looking at me and wanting me. It's unnerving, but in an exciting way. Warmth flows through my veins. My chest swoops with each second his eyes linger on me. And everything feels a little fizzy, a little hazy, like I'm caught in a mirage between two men. I bet she'd like a show, Hayes says, as if he knows my secrets.